Yonki. If my research is correct, it's supposed to be the first Michelin starred roasting restaurant in the whole of Hong Kong. Here we are at Yonki. Oh, come on, let's go. Restaurant. They have so many awards throughout the years. Since 1960 up until recently, they've been getting awards even from Michelin. Wow. So we're ordering the signature charcoal roasted chicken and also the barbecue pork. This is our first try of the roasted So I'm trying it this time with the gravy. The gravy is a bit salty, but again, it adds to the flavor since um, the meat is kind of tends to be bland without that. Um, so I was comparing it with another known uh, roasting coming from Ham's Roast. There's Ham's Roast in Manila. But this is different. So, if I recall correctly, the pan rose in Manila does not have a crispy skin. This time, this um, rose juice coming from Mookie comes with very crispy skin. This time, I'm going to be trying the roasted pork. The meat to fat ratio is very good. It's not too fatty, it's not too meaty. It's just right. Um, you can also taste the char grill, so it's very good. It balances out the sweetness of the pork. Very good. But I think it matches well if you are going to be eating it with rice. Mm -hmm. This time I'm going to be eating the pork, of course, with rice. So, as I was eating this, I had a question to the rest of the family, which is, what is the difference between the duck and the goose? For me, it's like the duck is more fatty actually, or the the meat is more um, mas matigas ng konte as opposed to goose. The goose is more parang mas hindi siya ganon ka lean, mas lean siya pero hindi siya ganon ka makunat yung meat. That probably explains also why the goose is the opted uh, type of bird. That uh, produces the foie gras. If you know the answer, comment down below. But this is good so far. The last piece of the roasted goose. Simot sarap. Sarap to the bones. <laughs> so after finishing 
eating at yung key. What's your verdict? 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Yes. Ano favorite part mo? The crispy skin of the roasted. Roasted. Sobrang sarap. Very crispy, no? Two thumbs up. After eating at Yung Ki restaurant, what's your verdict? Uh, same, 9 out of 10. And the, the service is uh, very good. Hello? Three times, 20 out of 10. Diba? Social, three times. To prove you work ng SC lang. Kaya may ulo nung dishwasher. Anong favorite part mo? Yung ulo ng goose. Ulo ng goose. Ano pa? Malaman siya. After eating at yung key, what's your verdict? I'm your ready to be a perfect fan. Wow! Wow! Hindi ko matitignan yung bill. So, perfect pet. Malambot siya, juicy, tapos malasa. Pwede na, gravy niya. Tapos, ano, kahatik siya ang presenyo. So, gusto niya yung laman. Sa akin yung pala. Ang masarap naman dahil crunchy. So, yeah. Okay. Recommended? Yes, two thumbs up. Four. Saan yung thumbs up? Thumbs up. Four thumbs. As for me, I would give yung key two thumbs up. Um, obviously, they are really great at the uh, roasted goose. Kaya nga sila, they got all of those deserved awards and recognitions throughout the years. Um, magaling talaga and masarap, tender, juicy, and moist yung meat. So, it wasn't really... Um, I have nothing to complain about the, the goose. As for the roast pork, um, personally, I can opt to skip skip it. Um, hindi ko naman siya, parang hindi siya overwhelming or sakto lang, hindi siya ganun ka, ano, farming. Um, I w wanted to try yung key personally because of the roasted goose nga. So, kung yun lang naman yung goal nyo, just skip the pork. Um, when it comes to the price point, okay naman, practical naman yung cost nila. The whole roast goose was only 750 Hong Kong dollars. So, practical naman yun. Sakto lang yung presyo niya. Um, however, there were certain items na medyo ikinagulat namin lahat, shook kami lahat. Particularly yung mineral water. One bottle of one liter Evian served in a glass bottle naman yung Evian na yun. Cost 100 Hong Kong dollars, so roughly 700 pesos para lang sa isang bottle of um, Evian water. So imagine we, if you would order more than one, right? So malaking chunk of your budget would have already gone to that. And so that ends our video today. If you happen to have also tried um, eating at Yunki, why don't you share your experience in the comment section below? And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you on our next video. Bye!